Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. We just got to our new apartment, which is just really a private room, um, right outside the pyramids in Giza. Let's see. There's the one of the pyramids right there. Got some roosters over there on the roof. Somebody's going by on a horse. So we're going on the roof. We need to see this from the roof. We are here. The pyramids. Pyramids, why they choose the pyramids, so the pyramidian shape and the evolution of the royal tombs. We can start like the pre dynastic before that time of the King Minus or Narmer of 3200 BC. Actually, we got like a longer, longer history beyond that. We, it goes back up to 6200 BC. Uh, we're in front of the Great Pyramid with all the mysteries behind, with all the secrets still not revealed about the Great Pyramid, we got some facts. The height is 149, four sides, each side like 230 meters. They used about 2.5 million pieces of rocks. Wow. The average weight starting from one ton up to 15 tons. Most of the rocks. Even there are some heavier ones especially in the period chambers and they use red granite stones not limestone which is the main material of the pyramid the red granite stone it's heavier so the ceiling and the period chamber you're gonna reach inside the one piece some pieces reaches up to 70 tons wow. that's why we say nobody knows for sure how they made it right what we have just a couple of fears suggestions or thoughts, opinions. Yeah. The most popular one is using a spiral rope around the pyramid. They build and when it gets higher, they cover, uh, they get a ramp around, goes up to the top. When they finish, they remove the whole ramp. That's the most popular one. There is a new theory talking about the lux, the power of the water. As we have evidences, the water used to come up to the sphinx down there. So they got canals with different levels of water to carry the stones. Mm. Those are like the most popular ones. Mm. Uh, the stones of... Mm. Not about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the other theory.
way to uh, Memphis and Saqqara, we happened to notice lots of trash on the side of the street, which was pretty interesting. Our driver told us that they do ha they do pay taxes to pick up trash, but only the wealthy get their trash picked up. By the third dynasty, the great architect Imhotep decided to have that one step out of stone, not out of mud bricks. As he saw his king jo Joseph or Zoser, his greater than to be buried under one step out of the mud bricks. Right. So he built that one step out of stone. But later on, or when he finished up it, he thought, no, one step is not enough. <laughs> so he added two more. And when he got off the two, now they have three steps. He thought, no, still not enough. <laughs> Joseph is greater than to be under just three. So he added three, two, three steps. Now what we have as the step pyramid of Saqqara. Uh, but most probably, because uh, it has the same facial features of the Queen Hat Ship Suit. Mm -hmm. If you can say it right now. Hat Ship Suit. Hat, oh, perfect. So <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> Hat Ship Suit is because of the facial features, and she was the only queen to rule Egypt as a sole king. Join us on the final part of our Egyptian adventure as we head south to Luxor. There we enter the tombs of King Tut, Hatshepsut, and many others. We take a sunset felucca ride on the Nile River and have a fancy dinner for our one year wedding anniversary. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.